Yo, what is going on? This is Philip Jean Marie, aka Max Cooper. I'm actually here at the Power Morphicon and I wanted to show you my wonderful helmet. Um, I also wanted to uh, shout out everyone who watched uh, Power Rangers Wild Force and even the, the old fans and the new fans. I um, also want to let you guys know, uh, shout out to Tiger Tales. It's an audio storytelling uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And also wanted to let you know, uh, you know, if uh, you're going through some issues in life, remember three words, never give up. All right? So I hope everyone is doing well. Love you a lot. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, a place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving back into Power Rangers Cosmic Chaos. Now, in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, we saw Skrillia absorb the master version of Zed into that machine to release a negative Z-wave to wipe out all things good. Now, of course, in Cosmic Fury, that never happens, but in this story, it does, and all things good got eradicated. Sometime later though, Zolon, who managed to survive due to being most mostly robot, finds two new heroes. Ozzy, who can morph now into the blue Cosmic Fury Ranger, and Albert, who has a ring that can access all of the Cosmic Fury weapons. They t decide to take on the Zentinels. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Power Rangers Cosmic Chaos. Chapter 2. A Game Plan. The blue Cosmic Fury Ranger jumped up and spun his foot around, kicking two Zentinels down. Albert swung his Ankleo hammer and slammed it on the ground, causing a shockwave that knocked several Zentinels off their feet. The blue Ranger and Albert made quick work for the Zentinels, then the blue Ranger demorphed and Albert's weapon disappeared. Dude, that was so cool! Ozzy cheered, placing his Cosmic Orb in his pocket. Yeah, agreed, Albert said, gazing at his ring. Then they heard the commotion at the ship. They turned to see Zodon trying to climb out of it. The boys ran up to the dinosaur and helped her out. Thank you. And by the way, nice job out there, Zolon said. Thanks. It was almost natural, Ozzy replied, kind of confused. Good. You'll need it when we execute the plan, Zolon grunted. Wait, there's a plan? Albert asked, a hint of curiosity and enthusiasm. Well, I've had some plan. Some form of it, yes, Zolon admitted. And the plan is... Ozzy asked. The Zords. They were never discovered. We'll need them to destroy the center ship that controls all the ships. Zolon stated. The Zords? Ozzy gasped. What's the center ship? Albert asked her. The cosmic Zords were hidden away at the very last second. After a while, three of, of them are left and have had to hide on different planets. Zolon explained. And now that I'm a ranger, we can use them. Ozzy grinned. We need them to take down the center ship. It's the go-to mothership, the host of all the power for the villains. Take it out and all the ships and the technology all kind of goes downhill. That crazy squid lady has it so all the villains would have to go back for some reason. It was a way to keep everyone in line, in check, and to make sure this updates. Shame it would be the cause of her downfall. Zolon sighed. Damn Zolon, that's a bit dark. Albert sighed. The Dark Matter Wave took my boy and his team from this universe. And it is her fault, Zolon said sadly. So what's the next plan of action? Ozzy asked. We need to get off this planet and get to another one. Zolon muttered. Come on, our ship's this way, Albert jested. The three got on board the Cranston wing and Ozzy started the engine. The ship took off and it flew out of the planet's atmosphere and took course to the next planet. How do you know where the Zords are? Ozzy asked Zolon as she sat next to him. I am more machine than I am organic matter now. I managed to download their locations before our ship lost power. They might not be there right this second, but no Zords have been seen in years, so this information is a start, Zolon explained. Okay, so first planet is called the Talon Post? Ozzy shrugged. It took them exactly one day to get to the planet. Ozzy and Albert, both rested, using their new powers, took a lot out of them. The ship landed a few miles away from a town and Ozzy and Albert prepared to set out. Please be careful, you don't know what you're getting into. Even if there is one of the three Zords here, Zolon pleaded. Zolon will be fine. If we aren't back in 12 hours, press this and it'll warm Billy, Ozzy told her, handing a small beacon device. It's nice to know Billy is putting up a good fight still. 
Zolon sighed. Well, he is the leader of the resistance for a reason, Albert grinned. Then both the boys left Zolon and the ship and walked towards the town. The boys kept their hoods up as they saw a group of sentinels walking around. Great, now what do we do? Ozzy asked. I'm just as confused as you are. I say we look around for any sign of the resistance. Maybe they can help. Albert sighed. Ozzy nodded. They carried on walking till they reached the centre of town where they saw a young woman being struck down by the sentinels. We are butting in, right? Ozzy asked. You had to ask? Albert replied. Both the boys ran in and kicked the two sentinels down. Leave the girl alone! Ozzy yelled out. The sentinels turned Ozzy and Albert. Ozzy pulled out his orb and his morpher appeared on his wrist. Cosmic Fury orb! Lock in! Ozzy called out. Then he flicked the orb into the air and as it fell into the, the morpher, he then folded the top over it and it locked in. Then he held out his morpher and a flash of light which he morphed into the Cosmic Fury Blue Ranger. Albert held out his ring and the Cosmic Fury weapons appeared around him. He grabbed the Green Ranger's Tiger Claw daggers and he pulled them into reality. The Ranger and Albert dropped into their fighting stances as the Sentinels swung their blades at the duo. Albert blocked an incoming attack with his daggers, then kicked the Sentinel back. He slashed the Sentinel several times as the blue Cosmic Fury Ranger jumped up, flipped over a Sentinel, and then as he landed, he pulled the Sentinel down, slamming it on the ground. Then he jumped up and kicked the Sentinel back as he struck it with several punches. Albert and the blue Cosmic Fury Ranger made quick work of the Sentinels. They all dropped to the ground, defeated. The Blue Ranger demorphed and Albert let go of the daggers, making them disappear. The girl stood up and brushed herself off. Thank you for that, the girl said. No worries, Ozzy replied. And here's me thinking the Power Rangers were long gone, the girl said. I'm new to this, I guess, Ozzy shrugged. Got a name? Albert asked. Juliet, the girl replied. Albert, and this is Ozzy, Albert told her. So why was the Sentinels giving you hassle? Ozzy asked. I found something. They wanted to know what it was and where it was, and I told them to go do one. Juliet chuckled. What did you find? Ozzy asked. Juliet looked at both the boys up and down. Yeah, it's most likely going to be yours anyway, Juliet muttered. She gestured for them to follow her. The boys looked at each other confused. They shrugged at each other, then followed Juliet into a forest. After walking for several minutes, they came across a big green lizard-themed machine. I found this and it started glowing a day ago, Juliet explained. Dude, it's one of the Zords, Ozzy gasped. Albert pressed the communicator. Zonon, we found the green Zord, Albert said. The Cosmic Fury Green Zord. Yes, it's the Camellia Zord. We need to reawaken it. Zolon cheered. Yeah, we're kind of working on that. Albert replied. He watched as Ozzy climbed up onto the Zord and knocked on it. Uh, I don't know, dude. Ozzy called out. How about y'all leave the Zord alone and I'll take it from here. A voice called out. Ozzy jumped off the Zord and landed next to Albert. They both dropped into their fighting stances as they faced off with a monster that resembled a tree. Juliet, stay behind us. Albert barked. Won't matter if you don't get out of my way, the tree monster growled. The boys prepared themselves for a fight. Thank you everybody for listening to this video and checking out the stories. Of course, there are plenty more where that came from. I encourage you to check out the rest of this channel where you'll find more storylines for you to delve into. But there's even more than that. If you check out the description down below, you will find a whole array of different Tiger Tales channels. Each Tiger Tales channel is made for a specific purpose and hosts a whole array of different types of storylines. So I encourage you to check out the other Tiger Tales channels and delve into a massive amount of storytelling by myself and the Tiger Tales partners. If you have enjoyed yourself today, then please subscribe to the channel as it does show your support. Now, of course, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because I'm passionate about story writing and storytelling. And, of course, you should dive into what you are passionate about as well. So, I shall end this video with... Roll with passion. That before we can... <laughs> Don't touch my Pringles. <laughs> Bye!